Patrick Carlin. What did we learn in class today? Oh, what a morning, man. I'm glad all the poets were here for spring. And I'm sure next thing in will be the virgins, if they didn't round up any. <laughs> anyway, this is uh, like. Joe was something, let me tell you, man. That was outstanding. That's a whole scene. He could do like 40 minutes on that. Uh, the car trip, the tire trip, the people honking on the hutch. Listen, they honk on you on that thing if you're doing like 65. It's, uh, these are uptight people. And I used to be uptight. You know, I hated the taxi drivers. Joe wouldn't have got away with nothing on me. Trust me, man. I did plenty of stunts with them, and they knew who was boss. I've got a different persona when I go to New York City. I take everything I need with me, Mr. Buck, and a lot of luck. And, uh, it helps you get a couple of moments to talk. But anyway, in the old days, what if what I would do were I having tire troubles with Joe, I'd go see Sister Inez up at 127th and uh, St. Nicholas Avenue, and I would get a mojo. In senior year, I was failing. After four years of doing nothing but avoiding work and education, <laughs> I was failing in chemistry, English, and history, going into the finals, man. And uh, I went to Sister Inez and I bought a little mojo, and then she said, you be sure and set fire to that after you get what you want, because it's only good for the one thing. See, she was smart, man. You ain't gonna buy a mojo and keep it in your pocket forever. <laughs> you burn that when it's done. And lo and behold, I had already... Parents translate for the kids out there. <laughs> well, it's a mojo. It's a good luck charm. Yeah, sure. And uh, I needed luck because I hadn't studied, man. And uh, for four years of no studying. So how'd that work out? So, so it worked out that I passed. Really? I passed all three of them, man, absolutely. And I had been to summer school for physics before. If I had known about Sister Inez, I could have avoided summer school. <laughs> so that's what Joe should get himself, a good mojo, mm -hmm. and just get it for the tire trip. Because we went from New York City to L.A. when Marlene and I decided to head west back in 19... 56, yeah, and we had a boot in the right rear tire, and we had a slash in the spare. What's a slash? Well, you could see the inner tube. They used to have inner tubes back then, and uh, you could see that, so uh, we got, in other words, a spare that was more useful than Joe's Donut. But with fearlessness, we on we went, man. We landed in California and got a job, and everything was cool. You've got to trust a lot to luck, but the potholes are killers, man. You gotta watch yourself. Potholes and donuts, not a good mix. Gotta watch yourself on that. I loved the, uh, I also loved the old, the, um, the music. Dylan. At first I thought it was a spoof. I even told Gus that. I said, I think it's a spoof, man. I said, because Dylan is further out than Sinatra would ever hope to be. You know, with his raincoat over his shoulder. Give me another double, my heart is broken. She left town, you know. That never went down with us. Our guys were like Tony Bennett, Dean Martin. Listen to him sing Torre Not Sorriento. And uh, Al Martino, Jerry Vale. Pretend you don't see her, my <laughs> heart. You know. Ah, come on, man. You know, what, you know, you know uh, what song that appeared in? Goodfellas. Goodfellas. That great sure. scene yes. You know what else was in Goodfellas? Life is but a dream. Oh, yeah. Shaboom. And I dream of you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. And that was an old harp tones thing. That was an old harp tones trip. Donuts and harp tones. Man. Yeah, <laughs> man. You got a title there. You got a title what, going what there. What a nostalgia. What a trip down memory yeah. lane with Pat, your Uncle Patrick. Uncle Patrick, <laughs> take you down memory lane the way it should be. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, got like the, you had Shaboom, you mentioned. That was yeah. by the chords, not right. by the crew cuts. The, right. the crew cuts were well, for they, the cornball kids uh, in New Jersey suburbs and stuff like that. <laughs> that was uh, what the crew. Yeah, no, it was. Life could be a dream. Life could be a dream. Yeah, you wanted to hear it by the chords, baby. What a music history lesson today. Well, that's what I'm here for, bro. Yeah. Professor, take the rest of the day off. I will. Patrick Carlin, thank you. Thanks to Gus Mancini and his fabulous saxophone. Thanks to Patricia Martin, and look forward to seeing you at the Poetry Brothel next Saturday at BSP. 
Uh, we want to thank the poets, Jacqueline Allen, Gary Siegel. Thanks to our friend Joe Rayola, who's hopefully retired by now. Ah, oh, poor Joe! And if you keep the dial tune right where it is, which is 100.1 FM, yeah. which Dr. Ryan Vandam Warmer will keep you good company. He's back there. Good morning. Hi, kids. Uh, oh, yeah. We were doing that back and forth. Yeah. With, um, um, you think I